Today I'll be doing another commentated nightmare run with all modifiers to help out those who are trying to get their diamond ranks, this time featuring the burst pistol. As a friendly reminder, this is less of a guide and more of a live run where I share the decision making and thought process I go through to get consistent victories without getting stuffed too much by RNG. Since this is live commentary, and I'd like this video to stand alone, I'll try to touch on concepts that I've mentioned in previous videos and will probably mention in future videos. If you find these tips and tricks valuable, I recommend checking out the other videos in the series. Today's weapon is the Burst Pistol, which is another one that's considered weaker by most. It comes off as a sort of uh, mediocre middle ground between the Seagull, with its high damaging single shots, and the Auto Rifle or even Minigun with their Rapid Fire shots. Burst Pistol's advantage comes from applying three shots in a single burst, and if you miss any of those shots, it can cut your damage down by quite a bit. I'll be trying to lean into this uh, advantage by going for attack speed to maximize how many bursts I can get in a smaller window, as well as going for elemental mods like poison and fire to emphasize my single target damage further. For my ability, uh, as a bit of a mix-up, I think I'm going to go with the Ice Blast just for some variety. Uh, I think Ice Blast is pretty good, especially for damage, um, and it probably works pretty well with Burst Pistol, just for giving me some targets to like lock down and get those bursts on. Uh, it's a little weaker for crowd control than uh, the Black Hole, just because enemies have a tendency to sort of slide around when they get frozen. But again, it's mostly for variety. Let's try it out. For my weapon, I think I'm going to go with the Dagger. Uh, normally I'd probably prefer to go with the Hammer, but again, just for a little bit of variety, I'm going to try out the Dagger. As far as the Key Totem goes, like my previous video, uh, I'm not going to be leveraging this at all. Uh, one of the big things I want to showcase with this run is that you don't need to lean into RNG in order to win these. And uh, I feel like not taking a key, uh, an item at the key totem really showcases that. If you find these uh, these videos valuable, then uh, you know feel free to use the key totem and it'll just give you that extra oomph you need to secure your run. As another little disclaimer, I have 400 keys, so throughout the run I'm actually going to be salvaging keys in order to uh, get crystals. Currently in the game, you can salvage keys for crystals. If you feel like you need keys, then uh, you'll probably be taking those and we won't have the same econ. I'll probably be getting a little bit more money than you would normally. If you have like between 100 and 200 keys, I would recommend salvaging your keys just to sort of secure your diamond. Uh, it can help out a ton, especially as you get into um, like Island 30 when bosses start showing up. Uh, if you do need keys, I might even recommend just waiting uh, or salvaging every key except for the ones at Island 30, since there's a lot there. But in any case, uh, yeah, well, let's get this going. As I said in previous videos, I like to start off by clearing out all the rocks on the map. Uh, rocks have a chance to drop an item when they get destroyed, even if you don't have Driller. Driller just essentially increases the chance. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, free items are nice. It's, you know, it's fruitless a lot of the time, but uh, when it does proc, it's really nice. We'll see what I start with. Um, okay, all right, these are pretty nice starts. Uh, Eagle Eye is pretty good here, just because I'm going to be staying really far away from enemies. So I don't need to pick up crystals. Uh, I can just outrange everything and try to kite them out. Big Shot's pretty nice on um, bullet guns, just because it doesn't really affect it too much, at least like the slowdown and it's mostly just a damage increase. And Mace Shot's actually just like a, a decent epic in general. I might actually take the Mace Shot and just give that a try. Um, it will give me just a little bit more AOE to work with. Not much, but uh, since Burst Pistol's really single target focused early on, it doesn't have that great of AOE, uh, I think this will help out quite a bit by just giving me a little bit of like a piercing effect to work with. Uh, I think for this one, just out of sheer, I really want to go for the speed chest, honestly, um, just to try to get some attack speed going, but just out of sheer value, I think I'm going to go with the random chest. The main thing I need to keep in mind here, with both the Hoping Thorns and the Spike Strikes, I should not be in melee of anything when I kill them. If I am in melee of something, I'm just going to stop attacking them. Oh, yeah, that was a little bit closer than it needed to be. Uh, I'm going to try to focus out these poison ants. A lot of times when it comes to um, doing any island on Nightmare, it's really just about priority. Uh, I just took a free hit for no reason. Again, because of that homing thorns that I just reminded myself not to, not to get hit by. That's all right. A little bit of a handicap, I suppose. Um, I actually might take the regenerator here, especially because I just got hit. These other choices are, are not too stellar. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to be in close range often, and although Dagger has a really short cooldown, so the Iron Claws might be nice, just take a Regenerator for a little bit of buffer. And an Equalizer is very nice to get this early on. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Equalizer, it gives you a damage bonus as long as the number of equipped mods that you have in each category is an even number. So this perks category is currently at 2, this is an even number, uh, but this is at 1, so currently Equalizer is disabled until I can pick up uh, either 2, 4, 6 weapon mods, etc. And for the sake of uh, like grenade mods where I have 0, uh, that's considered an even number. This is a really nice pickup, this is huge, I'll probably be able to run with this. Uh, hmm, I think I'm actually go gonna go health here. Yeah, I think either of these would be fine. For the most part in this run, I'm gonna try leaning really heavily into damage. Uh, I won't really need the health if I can just manage to kill everything. But on Island 3, if I can snag maybe like a Fortitude or just a little bit of armor to work with, that could go a long way. I tend to play with a playstyle that I kind of uh, refer to as corralling where I'll try to focus on staying in one spot um, for the majority of the island until I can get everything grouped up pretty well. And then I'll focus on kiting them around like that. Oh, there's a lightning gap. Because I've corralled everything over there, I know that uh, the, the majority of the group is going to be too far away for me to do anything, and it gives me plenty of uh, room to work with to take out like a lightning gap like this. A may shot's actually coming in clutch. Oh, it respawned. That with a quick ice blast. Let's see what we got here. Um, these aren't great. I guess I'll just take the bronze hard just to get something to work with. I don't think hard target would be bad either. Hard target's actually kind of nice for dealing with um, uh, fire damage, but yeah, I don't really care. At the end of every island, I'm going to be using uh, the auto loot key. Uh, when you auto loot uh, in general, not just you know, at the end of an island. Uh, if you listen closely, you'll be able to hear a chest open if a random chest is spawned on the map. Uh, this is a great way to confirm if a chest is open, and if you listen particularly closely, you can kind of get an idea of uh, what direction it's in. This is a pretty interesting choice uh, between the shop and the elite. I don't really feel like I have enough crystals to do this shop, so I think I'm actually gonna try to take this, this elite on. Um, hopefully the mace shot's going to give me enough damage to work with, but I think the ice blast in particular will help here. Especially because I got this map. Oh, fuse totem. Ooh, got it. Nice. Oh, the ice blast actually secured that. Uh, I'm going to rush to this launch pad as soon as possible just to get me in the air. Something that I can do here is leave the barrel skull up. I'm actually going to grab this. Another regenerator. It's fine. I'm going to try to leave the barrel skull up in an effort to um, get some barrels on the field and kill this, this firecraft a little bit faster with the fire damage from them. Another little trick that you can do... That one's going to drop a fire pool. Another little trick that you can do is if you stall in the air long enough, you might be able to get the fire crab to um, charge at you. Uh, it has a, a charge move that drops an energy ring at its location. Cool, that's going to be spicy. If you do it when you're in the air, then the firecrab will charge up and hit the uh, the boundaries of the map and just instantly die. Kind of a, a simple way to cheese it out. Apparently that doesn't seem like it's going to be happening. Oh. Oh, sorry, I went into a slow motion there really quick just to, uh, oh. Just to avoid a little bit extra damage. And I'm really leveraging that launch pad. In general, my playstyle is to try to stay in the air as much as possible. Uh, so whenever I see a launch pad, I'll, I'll usually try to get to it uh, and use it as a safe space. Where did that barrel skull go? Did that barrel skull just instantly die somehow? Uh, it seems to be the case. Use my ice blast to freeze it. I'm actually going to hang out on the ground just so my May Shot's going to get this and kill it faster. Now that the Barrel Skull's dead, I, I can easily avoid this Firecrab's uh, attacks. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the Barrel Skull there. I guess it just died immediately. Yeah, going back to the launch pad thing, um, the biggest pro tip I can give you for any run, really, 
if you hit a launch pad normally you'll go about like this high if you jump right as you hit it your jump momentum gets carried along with it and you can get a lot higher this is also how you generally get up here or whatever that's worth a chest can spawn right here uh so you know be wary of that you'll have to figure out how to make that jump if you want that chest uh, but in any case, on this map in particular, especially against elites, I really like to prioritize getting to this launch pad and just trying to stay in midair. Using the, the slowdown from the right click to, to stall in the air a little bit more, as well as just dashing occasionally. What have we got here? Uh, these are nice pickups. Uh, kind of tempted... I don't think I want the repelling dash. Uh, I think I'm okay for now. Really tempted to try to get one of these chest multiplying perks probably double vision because it's just the more consistent one and here i think i'm gonna go for the i'm gonna try to go for the double random chest i don't really want to do another elite i don't feel like my damage is really that solid yet got an elite crystal that i'm gonna pop too i am gonna try to kill these even though i could just kite them out as, as best as possible this is also just effectively uh some free crystals And I'm, I'm going to have to try to not kite too much, because I do need to kill stuff here to get this this uh, rush. I did not see where that fire slug went, which is probably a problem. I'm going to use this launch pad and stay in one spot to try to group everything up below me. Uh, this is probably not nearly enough enemies. I only got 100. Or rather, I needed to kill 100, so mm, no dice on the rush there. That's alright. I managed to get an elite crystal anyway. Uh, another equalizer, that's pretty huge, actually. And a sharp shot, that's even better. Still not equalized because I have three perks here, but uh, that's okay. And if you listen closely there, you would have heard that chest go off. I heard it around over here. Uh, this is one of the spots. This is probably one that has spawned underground. There's a nice little hole right here, and here it is. And I also saw a crystal totem over there. I think I'm just going to hit that like one time since it's usually pretty cheap this early on. Yeah. I only lost 59 crystals. That's fine. No big deal. Uh, I'm now equalized because of that big claws, actually. That's pretty nice. So um, I think I'm actually going to go for the spike chest here because I have the double regenerator. That seems like just the obvious play. If I'm going to get some sort of healing early on by chance, might as well leverage it. On this island, I tend to uh, stay in this back corner uh, on the lower islands. But I would argue that this is probably the uh, the most dangerous part of the map to be in. It's going to be working out really nicely here because I should be able to kill things before they get to me. Nice. This is probably the most dangerous part of the island because there's really not much room to work with. I Usually I'll try to get to that side, especially because there's a launch pad in the corner. There's two ways that I generally go about doing this. Uh, I either jump on here to this ledge and try my best to jump over enemies. Or the, the safer but slower route would be to jump here and then jump here and here to get onto this little side hallway. The only thing you need to keep in mind here is that enemies will detect that you went this way. Uh, and they'll use that launch pad to come up to you. So you'll, you'll probably have some enemies to face. And if it's too many, this can also be a really dangerous spot to be in. But if you can make it over here, plenty more room to work with, uh, and you have this launch pad to give you some some aerial space to make. Somehow I managed to proc the double vision on this spike chest, so I guess I'm nuking my health. As much as I want to start ramping up that mace shot, I think I'm actually going to take the bonus crystals and get my econ going. Oh, this is actually a really, really good pull. Arc shot is good it may also be the obvious choice just because it gives you a little bit of aoe i just don't think it's reliable enough aoe um i tend to try to i tend to prefer to lean into the weapon strengths rather than trying to cover for its weaknesses so i think here i actually want to go split shot in an effort to increase the amount of bullets that are coming out for my single target damage spark shot would actually be pretty okay too i am unequalized but uh that's fine i should be okay On this map, I like to uh, to use this centerpiece really heavily. Um, it provides a lot of cover as well as just some vertical to work with. Let's try to get this limpet real quick. Oh, and a poison ant. I'm also trying really hard not to break that gold. Ooh, I got the shield. This is going to be awkward. Try to move sporadically as much as possible. 
how to deal with these skulls, too. That was how I stopped right before those projectiles came. Go into slow motion to pick something off, and then uh, leave slow motion to get back to the ground, and then repeat the process. I missed that jump, so I'm just going to play it safe. I'm not going to try to mess with that right now. Let's see if I can sneak around here. Nice. Let's just throw it on the ice blast to clear this out. Oh, this is where ice blast is really helpful. I do have a laser crab on the field. That is really problematic for um, this waves map, so I'm going to do my best to try to focus that as well as stay in cover so I can can't manage to snipe me. Got a dagger in there too. Went pretty well actually. I tend to prioritize laser crabs over a lot of enemies nowadays just because they have really fast shots that can be hard to, to uh, avoid. A freeze lasts forever actually. I think that ant respawned. I'm trying my best to leave that gold crystal up just so I can get a little bit of max health out of it. Nice. Am I gonna go another wave? It kind of seems like I am. Oh, well, let's see if I can catch both of those. I managed to trip out the, sh the tracking there. I think that uh, ice or lightning ant crab, lightning crab respawned. Yep. No, my, my crystal. I'm gonna hang out here as best I can. Oh, nice. Yeah, that went, that went particularly well. Around here, um, notice how the slowdown is really nice, and one thing I would recommend while you're doing this slowdown is to try your best to continue dashing, uh, just so you can keep the momentum. The big thing here is enemies will try to aim ahead of you, and when you use that slowdown, you can kind of bait them into shooting, or uh, overshooting, I should say, and then just drop to the ground, and you'll easily avoid the attack. Once it, you do that, you can return to the other side and bait them into shooting that way, and then do a little bit of a back and forth to continuously bait them to shoot the wrong direction once you get into, them, into that chain. I think this is a really obvious juice choice. I think juice this early on is pretty huge. The fact that I managed to get a double vision on this island too is going to be amazing. Um, the arc shot's tempting. But I do think I want to continue the, the trend of leaning into uh, the single target and go for the thorn shot. Here, upgrade chest would actually not be a terrible idea because I have a lot of really nice mods. But I do kind of want to start getting some armor and fortitude going at some point, And this double health, health seems like a great place to start. With energy rings and homing thorns, the big thing I need to keep in mind is just to stay away from everything as much as possible. Uh, and if I start killing stuff... I should try to stagger the kill so I don't blow up everything at the same time and uh, spawn a bunch of energy rings. Oh, we got another fuse totem. Nice. I'm trying to hug this outside edge. This is where I'm going to not attack everything, anything. I can just walk past these. And now I have everything corralled in a nice spot. This is where I start shooting them. Plenty of distance to get away. All those energy rings just went off, no problem. Like I said, I uh, I try to hug the, the outside edge where the water is as much as possible. Oh, this is dicey. I'm going to try to get through this real quick. Nice. Not going to kill anything because I don't want to try to uh, deal with homing boards and energy rings while I try to get through that. Let's try to get an ant. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, actually. Oh, there's one. I have my corral over there in the corner. Ooh, barely missed that one. Hit that one, unfortunately. I did not think I would. I'm really trying to deal with the range threats first because they're the ones that can actually hit me with something. I know I have the corral right behind me, so I'm, I, I know exactly where the rest of the enemies are at all times, which is really the, the main point of this whole grouping uh, strategy, like corralling them. I want to make sure I understand where the entire, where everyone on the map is at all times, just so nothing can really sneak up on me. I'm gonna try to kill this poison so I can get an explosion. Yeah, kind of like that. This is actually a lot of enemies. Early on, I'm gonna be using Ice Blast a lot for AOE, especially because uh, I'm lacking my AOE a little bit. 
Um, but later on, I'll probably use a more another equalizer. That's incredible. I'll probably use it a little bit more for um, just protecting myself. If something gets too close to me, I'll probably throw down an ice blast. Uh, I'm gonna see what this chest has first before I pick anything. Um, all right, here's here's the big brain play. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I have a shop too. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this totem a bunch of times. An uppercut is great, and that's not great. I'm gonna salvage that. Uh, since I have a shop, and I'm probably going to pick up this heart and get some of that health back, that seemed like a clear-cut decision. I'm also going to grab this armor, just to give me a little bit of armor to start off with. I can actually do a similar strategy here. Or not. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm probably going to take this damage combo. That seems like a clear pickup. Damage combo gives 20% per combo level, and if you can manage to stay at 5 combo... Uh, like for the whole run. Well, that's just 100%. That's basically a, a level of equalizer. Um, kind of tempted to just grab this heart real quick since I have a little bit of money to work with, but I think I'm 246. I think I'm going to reroll. I, I don't think I want any of these. Uh, the light shot's tempting because I do want to really stack that attack speed and the, the fire rate increase definitely outscales the the loss of damage but with that juiced I, i'm actually feeling like i'm pretty okay for now and the rest of these are not as great i could pick up the valued customer um maybe i will maybe i'll just try that out as a way to to secure some max health i'm gonna well actually i'm not gonna sell this i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this for now and buy this valued customer i want to equalize but i might get another perk on this reroll Oh, uh, man. Oof. Okay. Let's see if we can... I I would love to get this double vision. I wouldn't mind having to settle for the efficiency. If I were to get the double vision... 319. So close. Oh, wow. That's a bummer. I could just get rid of the valued customer that I just picked up. It would unequalize me, unfortunately. Um, that's tough. I think I'm just gonna go with the efficiency. Uh, twenty five percent off too. Unfortunate. Efficiency is great though. Um, this will just let me hold left click as much as possible, which just makes me do more consistent damage. Start off by popping all these. You can leave these crystals up if you want to try to get a little bit of damage off on the elites. Um, they feel more... Th I'm going to hide behind this pillar real quick while he's shooting his volleys. I think I'm going to try to get that barrel skull first. I actually feel like my damage is pretty good, so I should be able to just kill this thing. Yep. That equalizer really coming in. Especially the damage combo with it. Doing a lot of damage right now because of those pickups. Salvage my keys, kind of like what I mentioned at the start. I'm going to be salvaging all my keys, and I don't really want to unequalize, even though I could probably handle it. I kind of want a scatter shot. Give me a little bit of a little bit of AOE to work with. Uh, so this map's unique in that it has um, a, a ton of ice everywhere. Uh, one common complaint that I see on this map is that uh, enemies like tend to to catch up to you and like jump on you really easily and flank you and uh people feel like uh they don't have a lot of control over that the big thing about the the ice physics here is that you get increased movement speed as you're moving forward uh and so do enemies if you try to slide left or right at all or even backwards you can see there that i lost a ton of momentum meanwhile the enemies are trying to chase me down so they're still moving forward and there's they get that speed bonus so the, the pro tip here is really just to make sure that you're always moving forward in some fashion if you need to shoot behind you, just do a little, just do a little hop and shoot behind you. Uh, another damage combo sounds great. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I want more armor, but I also would not mind trying to pick up a poison shot right now. Poison shots is gonna, gonna be the main thing that I look for in this build. I think it synergizes really well with first shot. Um, I don't know if there is a specific interaction where if your first shot and burst shot uh, applies poison, the the next two shots gain the damage bonus from that poison. I would assume that's the case. 
And if so, that just goes to show why poison is so strong on burst pistol. Oh, hey, and a little extra chest over here, too. What do we got? Uh, I will... Hold on. I'm going to see what I got out of this chest. If I got a perk out of this one, then that FMJ would be a good pickup. There's my poison shot. Um, I think I'll actually drop the big claws here and use that to equalize. I'm feeling good. Now that I'm equalized, I've just got a poison shot. I have tons of single target damage. I think this elite is going to be really easy. Yeah, no problem. Oh, almost got hit by that. Yeah, that was very, very easy. Great start to the run. Um, these are pretty whatever, and taking a grenade mod will unequalize me, but I do find Dagger Blast and Thorn Explosion to be really nice with Ice Blast to give me the AoE that I'm probably going to need in the run. Uh, I'm going to go damage here. I'm going to continue pumping the damage. I feel like my damage is really solid right now. Uh, even though I'm not even equalized right now, I'm still doing a lot of good damage. I got some grenade crabs on the field that I'm going to try to kill. I'm going to try to alternate between slowing down and not slowing down to try to trick out their uh, their tracking. Um, I think I'll take Ultra Shot. Red Fury wouldn't be bad either. I don't really care much for uh, any of those, truthfully. I'm going to continue going damage. I don't really want to do a, a double spike chest. That sounds like too much damage. Especially on a, an armored island. It's kind of annoying. Even though I guess I do have FMJ. I'm going to hang out in this corner until I have to leave. This is a pretty safe space and I can uh, I can pick at things as they come to me. Oh, I got a sniper on the field. Definitely want to get rid of that. That was easy enough. Going to make some room away from the other one. When I'm slowing down like that... I'm making sure to consider uh, what where I want to move afterwards. The tracking is going to keep them. So if I dash this way, I'm actually dashing in a, a back left like this. It's hard to tell, but for for comparison, this is the back right. You don't really see me move into that back right or back left position until the slowdown stops. But the enemies do. So this is where spamming left to try to get them to aim left can be really advantage. And now I'm during the same slowdown effect I'm moving right after I see them starting to shoot left. I'm going to be using that a lot, and whenever I see that a projectile might be coming towards me in a slowdown, I'm going to try to go the opposite direction in that same slowdown. This is where uh, the advantage of like the single weapon guns really comes in. I don't really want any of these. Um, I do need to equalize those, so I guess I'll take the recoil shot. Yeah, it's not bad. It might get annoying eventually, but I'll probably sell it then. And I'd love to get some perk going here. I think that's a blast totem? Nice. Not trying to focus too much on killing everything until I have a good assessment of what enemies are on the map. And in a good corral. I heard an ice ant. I'm gonna try to focus that. Ice ants can be really annoying. There's two. I know that I have a corral behind me, and I'm just trying my best to stay ahead of it. I think I saw something spawn with the shield. Yep. This is going to be annoying. Alright, I don't think I can afford to try to get that shield right now, so now I'm going to start working on clearing stuff. I got cut off by a blocker crab. I'm going to hide behind this pillar real quick just to try to thin out this pack, and then move on to the next pillar. And now my kiting is going to be a little bit more staggered as I thin out the pack between each pillar. I'm trying to avoid that ice sand as much as possible. It could be really annoying. Oh, I got stuck up on by an ice grab. That's unfortunate. Use this little rock for cover, too. That little rock has saved me more times than I can count. Oh, dang it. All sorts of stuff is sitting on me. I think this is where I can easily go for the shield. Gonna wait for it to do a shot. Check out what I got here first. Oh, yeah. Oh. Alright, I took a couple free hits more than I needed to. Um, 
I think I'm actually going to get rid of this recoil shot because I, I just really don't want to see recoil shot in this run, and I'm going to take up this heavy, heavy hitter instead. Uh, this does reduce my fire rate, which is a little bummer, a bit of a bummer, but the, the damage increases 100%, which is one of the higher ones from a weapon mod. And I think I'm going to start getting um, sharpshooters. Between hotshot and sharpshooter, uh, I think it's, it comes down to personal preference. I think in general, hot shot's going to be better uh, as long as you're you're competent in um, like avoiding attacks. I like to play a little bit safer. I've never felt like I've been struggling with crit when I go the sharpshooter build. Um, so yeah, I tend to go that way. And I think here I'm going to go for a health chest just to get some armor going. It's a horde too, so it'll give me some a good amount of money. I like to hug this uh, this outer edge. I just kited everything through some lightning too. That was really nice. Some good crab champions ASMR right there. Can we do it again? Eh, not as much. I like to hug that outside edge and just try to corral things as much as possible. If you don't feel super confident in um, handling the movement speed, you can also bring them to this uh, this center snow platform where they'll they'll get their normal movement speed again. I would be careful though, because there will still be things that come at you from the ice. So you'll just want to sort of uh, kite around the, the snow field like this. Uh, I do feel like my AoE is lacking quite a bit, so I'll want to start looking for some answers there. These aren't great, but uh, I'm down for the big hearts to start getting more max health, and it equalizes me. And here I think I'm definitely going to go speed. I want to uh, start stacking my attack speed, or even try to pick up a, a stamina to secure my mobility for the run. One of the big things that you could do in, a, in like learning how to get the diamond rank is to really practice your movements, and trying to be as sporadic as possible, even in these movements where... Oh, this is going to be awkward. Take my time just to... Oh, really awkward. of moving as sporadically as possible. Uh, oh boy. Kind of one of the, the problems with staying in that back corner. You'll have a bunch of enemies approaching the hallway from behind. Two launcher crabs, huh? Notice how I'm constantly checking behind me to make sure that nothing else is sneaking out on me, especially on this map. It's already going uh, kind of awkwardly. I'm, I'm handling it okay, um, but I'm I am certainly panicking a little bit. Man, things just keep hanging out in this this one area. I have to get rid of this launcher crab. I'm gonna use a melee while I'm slowed down just to make sure uh, I knock back anything that might be approaching me. Okay, I'm in a good spot. I think that launcher crab may have respawned. I'm gonna continue the loop. Try to pick off what I can. Uh, going back to the sporadic movements conversation, you can see uh, here, this is a great example as to how this probably saved my life. Just trying to really lean into being as chaotic with your movements as possible. I think this is where like the, the game itself, Crab Champions, really shines because you can get into that flow state uh, and really <laughs> lean into being a crab. Why are there so many ice crabs? I think they keep spawning or something. Oh, I'm gonna get out of that shotgun crab ray. Take my time poking around the corner. I guess I should get him, yep. Oh, one more. Nice, okay. That went a lot better than I had any right to. The big thing I really wanted to touch across is even though I'm moving left and right, even though I'm going in circles around this map, I'm not strictly moving left and right. I'm weaving in and out because uh, projectiles will tend to aim towards your position and they can easily go over you or you can just outright um, go around them and stuff like that. I'm moving in and out a lot. I'm weaving around a lot. I'm trying to be as sporadic and chaotic as possible. Really get into that crab flow, you know what I mean? Uh, these kind of suck, but I think I'll take the aerial shot. Let's see what I got in this one. Yeah, these aren't great. Um, 
Thankfully I have a chest, so I don't really need to worry too much about this. I'll take the adrenaline. And I think I'll take the aerial shot. I tend to stay in the in the air a lot, so aerial shot can be pretty nice there. I got a loot totem. I can oh nice, huge pickup. I can use the the health from the, the island. I don't want to poison her. Or the health from the shop, I should say. Yeah, I think I'll just salvage that. Try to get some money back from the, the slot I just opened. What else we got? There's my fortitude. That's great. I think... I think I'm actually going to get rid of the valued customer. Okay, here's the real play. Um, I'm going to drop adrenaline real quick. I'm going to buy fortitude. I'm kind of down to keep pumping thorn explosion a little bit. I am going to need to get this Spiral Grenade too, is that, am I going to have enough money for that? Probably, once I sell the value customer. Uh, I need this Spiral Grenade to equalize. Uh, I got some free max health out of that, so now I'm going to sell value customer, pick up Adrenaline again, pick up the Spiral Grenade. The Spiral is not too bad. Uh, I'm not equalized still. I'd really like to be... I think I'm going to get rid of probably Heavy Hitter. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Alright, now I'm equalized. I'm equalized with the grenades too. Uh, the Fortitude replacement for the value customer is just more reliable max health. And that's pretty much all the max health I'm going to need for the rest of the run, to be honest. Alright, I'm going to rush to this launch pad as soon as possible. Two Ice Goals. Use that slowdown to get more time. I almost got <laughs> flanked by an ice school in the air. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. That's okay. Enemies can still shoot you in the air, so you just gotta be careful of that. Um, it's just gonna be a, a lot easier time avoiding them. And I got a double vision proc. That's great. Cool. Let's see here. Uh, I really love drill shot, so I'm probably gonna take that. I'm also probably going to take the piercing shot just to give me a little bit of AoE as well as um, equalize from this drill shot. What I really need is um, probably like a targeting shot, uh, some sort of AoE, like maybe I'll try to grab a, um, oh I went too far. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to uh, grab an arc shot when I can, but I don't really feel like I necessarily need it. Honestly, the thorn explosion really helps with my AOE woes, so maybe I don't really need to worry about it too much. There is a green perk over there, or a green totem over there. Another equalizer, awesome. I'm not gonna go with the green totem, because uh, I feel like my build is really strong right now. If it was earlier in the run, or if I felt like my, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> If I felt like my build wasn't really uh, um, caught in it, then I might go for a Greed Totem just to try to shake things up or even just break the run. Kind of similar with this Greed Chest. I might I might just opt for the Upgrade Chest and try to get a good pull on something good, in like a Double Vision or Equalizer. Speedy enemies, homing barrels. I just need to be really careful about killing things that are in my melee, even though they're pretty much all going to be in my melee. Uh, this might get pretty chaotic. This is actually a great map to do this on, though, because I'm going to go straight for this launch pad and just try to stay in the air. That way I can avoid uh, the majority of the, the threats that are going to be coming my way. Let's try to get these ants. Put on an ice blast to do some AoE. Cool. Okay. I heard another ant. I don't really see... Oh, there it is. There's another launch pad over here that you can leverage. Honestly, my strategy on this map is really just to use those launch pads to boost myself to the other launch pad, and then just repeat the process over and over. Uh, very safe, very solid. The main thing you really need to keep in mind is that uh, to get your slowdown back, you do need to touch the ground. So if you want your slowdown, just make sure you touch it right, like right here, until you before you go into the, the launch. Um, those are kind of bunk. There's the double vision. That's not so bunk. I'll go with the regenerator here. Generator has been doing me well, and I'd love to get a little bit more econ going. Ooh, this is a, a tight map. Whoop. 
Thankfully, I'm doing enough damage from the equalizer that um, my melees can actually deal with the smaller crabs pretty well. Anytime I see one of those smaller crabs try to jump behind me, I'm going to do my best to melee it while I'm facing forward. Unless one gets too, too far behind me. Nice. And the double vision proc. I think that double vision is going to really start kicking in gear. Uh, I don't really care for any of these. And it's pretty expensive to unlock slots, so I think I'm just going to go for crystals. Um, I don't really need anything from skill besides the purples, and I'm not really confident that I'm going to get the purples from the skill chest, but I think I'm going to try this. This is this seems like a hard island. Heart, armored enemies and shrapnel. Enemies are going to be hard to kill, and when they die, they're going to explode. Uh, but I think I'm... I'm going to do enough damage to really deal with it, especially on this map. This is another one where I can uh, lean into using this launch pad a lot. I'm going to try to stay in one spot to corral enemies, go back to the launch spot. If I'm feeling a little bit r risky, or I'm feeling the situation is risky, I can go to the other side and uh, use the other launch pad to repeat the process. A little bit of matrix moment with this launcher crab. I'm going to slow down before I kill more stuff. I don't want to get too many shrapnels. I really want to get this launcher crab. Got him. Nice. Do this again. Easy. Uh, there seems to be one more enemy up somewhere. Oh, there he is. All right. I don't know what happened there. That was pretty cool though. Good, good air time. Um, these are pretty bunk. These are also pretty bunk. I do think I'll, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the spiral grenade and get the bigger boom. I think that'll give me a larger AOE. Yeah, that looks bigger. And here, I think I'll just salvage. Keep my, my equalizer going, especially because I think I'm gonna do this elite. Start popping rocks. There's a lot of rocks around here. Use this one for a little bit of extra cover. Got the elite crab. You can see that poison really coming in. And this is also where the attack speed comes in too. This is what I mean by uh, getting as many shots in per window as possible. I'm going to be running around in circles uh, using that slowdown to give me those windows to shoot at stuff. And obviously the slowdown doesn't last forever, so that's where I really want the attack speed to, to maximize how many I get. Uh, I think this is probably where I go for the arc shot. Um, I could even... I don't really need to equalize for this horde island. Yeah, I'll go for the arc shot. The real question is, do I want the crit or the luck? Getting my crit going would be really nice, but there's some stuff that I want out of luck. Especially um, if I can get more efficiencies, that would be that would be pretty nice. I just, I'm not confident that I can get 120 enemies. I think I'll go for the crit. I'm gonna pop these rocks just so they don't uh, screw me over when I'm fighting. I'm going to try to hug this left corner first before enemies start going over there and then move to the right corner. The idea being that, I, again, I'm just trying to corral as much as possible. Use my ice blast to give me a little bit of coverage. Things are going to get a little hectic, I think. It's hard on this map because you can't really see too well. But yeah, I'm just going to try to go to this corner to corral things. Everything that's coming into the, the island. Move back over to this corner. Give me a little bit of space to work with. And then I can use this rock in particular to give me some vertical to just jump over everything. And there's the flawless. Uh, more sharpshooter sounds great. Can I get any critical arrow? No. I'll take power punch, I guess. There it is. Uh, man. I'm not equalized anyway, so I'm not too worried about um, picking up the critical arrow. I'm going to hit this once because it could be a cheap, cheap perk. Maybe one more time. Yeah, that's probably too much. I think I'll go for the upgrade here. I got the same mat to run back. I 
I don't really know what I'm shooting at, but things seem to be dying, so I'm just going to wiggle my mouse back and forth and try to kill things. Uh, I see a poison skull. I'll try to get that. I see two poison skulls. Oh, took too much damage there, I think. This is going to be a little iffy. Got it. Took more damage, but I guess that's going to have to be how it is. Not equalized, but I am doing fair damage. I feel like I saw it. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Again? Wow. Alright, so the big thing that I was doing there, um, the, the poison skulls tend to shoot in the spread, right? Either the straight, uh, like, missile-like projectiles or the the wave projectiles um, but they they always tend to shoot in like a horizontal spread so when you if you can try to bait it into shooting above you even with like a slowdown then you can drop down and wait for their next shot which you know is going to be coming towards you below and that's when you go back into the air and then you repeat the process again we're just getting it into a cycle where it keeps alternating between those two so we can predict which way it's going to shoot uh, nice sharpshooter. Uh, sharp shot. Very cool. I think I I really want this energy ring, or this uh, health chest. This is going to be a little bit risky with the energy rings and speedy enemies, but um, yeah, I'm going to do my best, even though I'm not equalized. I just got to remember not to uh, kill too many things at the same time. Throw down an ice blast, just clear those out. Keep moving. One thing that you can do on this map, one of the safest spots on the map is this launch pad over here. If you do it right, you can even start to corral things below you like this, and then repeat the process. I heard some sort of skull. Yeah, let's get that real quick. Whoa. Something made it up here. If you do decide you want to hang out here for a little bit, just keep in mind that things can still get up to you. Uh, okay, yeah. I think those hit the, the ceiling, actually. Crabs are very uh, scattered right now. I gotta get to a spot where I can re-corral them. I think some of them are probably gonna start hitting um, the anti-capping mechanic, and then they'll start getting very hard to deal with. Whoa. Let's see if I can snipe that. Don't want that thing to sneak up on me. Okay. Keep moving forward. Since they're speedy, I really don't want them to catch up to me and have to eat an energy ring. I watch both entrances here. Most likely they're going to be coming through here. Yep, there it is. Is it the last one? Nope, we got one more don't really know what else is alive. Enemies can tend to... Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Did I take a hit? <sighs> Enemies can get stuck, and then the anti-camping kicks in, and then you have a problem. Uh, Alright, I think this is a heart, and I think this is an armor, for sure. And we got a shot. Uh, and a few stuff. Cool. And a target shot. Wow, that's insane. That is insane luck. Um, there's a glue shot as well. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I want this glue shot um, because, A, I have piercing shot right now, so uh, I won't actually have the disadvantage of it getting stuck. Um, and it will still, I, this is, it'll just literally be bonus damage because it, it'll just pierce through. Uh, and if I can manage to find an R shot later on, there's a really nice interaction with um, with glue shot and R shot. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this ultra shot. I think it's Hornet's welcome. It's been helpful. I'm actually pretty tempted to take this giant trail and barrel explosion. I feel like uh, ice blast has been really helpful with my AOE, and giant drill in the middle of this ice blast can also be super helpful. There's another sharp shot. I'll take that, and I'll end this with a silver heart. Why not? I don't really want any of these, especially because they'll unequalize me. In fact, I think I want to go into uh, this boss equalized. 
The FMJ is tempting to drop, but it actually is going to be really helpful here, so it might be Adrenaline. Unfortunately, that Adrenaline is going to be nice later on, but uh, right now I, I need to maximize my damage against the bosses. Thankfully, I got this map. I tend to just go straight for the launch pad here. Seems like I'm doing great damage. Yeet. This is why I wanted to be equalized. An easy work of that. I'm glad I kept the uh, the FMJ. So as I said at the start of the video, um, this is where I would recommend you pick up uh, keys. I think you actually get bonus keys when you pick up the boss ones. So, uh, or maybe that's just all keys in general. I don't really know. And I got a double vision, incredible. And I got a splash damage. Um, this is interesting. I think what I'll do is take rare treasure. And, uh, ah, man, these are tough. So if I take the gold dice, I can equalize. And gold dice is just going to be so good throughout the rest of the run. Splash damage is great. Um, it did get nerfed, and it's in, like, a really good spot. I feel like I have enough damage, truthfully. But the gold dice, like, that's just going to... Everything that has, like, a percentage attached to it, it's just going to proc more opt-in. So I actually think I'm going to take the gold dice here. And let's loop. I'm going to do my best to try to... Um, up the runs from here uh since i'm getting to like the 50 minute mark on my video and i don't want this to be too long so i'll probably mostly be uh grabbing and running hopefully surviving i think what i i really need at this point is a stamina nice i don't feel like i'm mobile enough to be totally safe enemy. If there's some enemy that's on the map and you don't know where it is, uh, I tend to just stay in one spot and kind of wait for it to come out. Unless it's stuck somewhere. So I'll grab that while I'm at it. There you are. Uh, oh wow, this is tough. I'm going to go Equalizer. I think it's just going to scale better. And I think I'm going to go for this double damage. Spike strikes and homing barrels. Again, I'm just going to want to make sure not to melee things or be in melee. That's another pro tip. Whenever you get onto this map or really any of the maps with a dock, um, that was really dumb of me. Uh, just turn around really quick. Totems can spawn there. And the uh, last thing you want to do is get to the end of the island and realize that a, a glass totem or a fuse totem was there and you missed it. Notice how I'm doing... Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of crabs sneaking up on me today. Notice how I'm moving in and out while I'm going left and right around the map. These ants are one of those enemies that, like, when they shoot projectiles at you, you can pretty easily just uh, slide in ever so briefly and avoid their projectiles. Huge double vision proc. Don't really want any of these, so I think that's just the salvage angle. Um, I think this one... Gonna be damage combo. Damage combo scales really well. Yeah, I think we'll get another one. Whoa, ooh, do I dare try this? Yeah, yeah. Just gonna try to stay back as far as possible. Throw an ice blast randomly. Cool, that was okay. Uh, I did miss out on the fuse totem, but considering I proctor rare treasure a couple times, it's probably fine. Hot shot. This is kind of tempting. Uh, yeah. I'm going to leave that time shot up in case I get um, something to, to equalize with. I'm also going to open all of these. I'm going to keep pumping the fortitude here, and I'm going to grab these armors here. And as much as I kind of want to try out the time shot, I don't want to I don't want to unequalize. Uh, I'm feeling really confident about my single target damage right now. So I'm probably going to go for this elite. Uh, this is where elites start getting a little bit more challenging because they have um, damage reduction at the start of the island. That goes away after 30 seconds. Here I'm going to try to get this poison grub as quickly as possible. 
It doesn't help that uh, poison grubs are resistant to poison shot. Alright, it's got it. The rest should go down pretty easily. Again, just gonna try to camp that launch pad. Barrels can still fly up to you, so be careful of that. And since there are grubs on the map, I just need to be really careful about where I land. Oh, wait. Go. Maybe I'll start popping some of these barrels to do a little bit more damage. Yeah, now they're melting. Nice. This is pretty much why I take poison, just to, to deal with um, to deal with bosses. I really want gemstone, and I I can pick up this big chest as well to uh, to equalize. Uh, I think we'll go for this waves. I'm feeling pretty confident in my damage. I can probably get another epic chest out of this. You can see here that uh, I'm using that ice blast really defensively after I loop. If I come up to something that I think is going to shoot at me while I walk past, like those blocker skulls, I can briefly freeze it. Give me a little bit of extra breathing room. I'm going to focus on trying to get away from everything in order to corral them into one spot. Got another wave coming, so I'm just going to be careful about new enemies that spawn, like that one. Pick up that blocker skull one over here. Nice. Ooh, really got to get this, this laser skulls. Laser skulls can be a real pain in the ass for waves, since they're so hard to avoid. Oh, almost got hit by the lock rock skull. Again, I'm going to use this middle area as a little bit of cover. Ah, there's a lot of blocker skulls. More skulls coming out. A lot of ranged threats. Use these this cover these covers as best you can. Ooh, especially against the the shielded sniper crab. Here's a nice little trick. Freeze. Nice and safe. Alright. I could have gone a lot worse. I don't think I want the second wind. Uh, I think I'm down for another drill shot. I like the drill shot. And I think here I'm... I feel really good about my damage. I don't feel too good about my armor, so it'd be pretty great if I could snag a little bit of armor. Again, I'm just going to stay on this side of the map for as long as possible until things start running at me. a little dicey. This is where I think I'm going to try to run away. Yep, simple enough. Get the skull while I'm at it. I gotta be careful, something might come up on this launch pad here. Yep, like that. And now I'm in a really safe spot. I can even return to the beginning and pretty much reset the island and re-corral them. Or enemies get lost, you know, one of the two. Grab the supper cut while I'm at it. Ah, there you are. Uh, still no armor. That's too bad. Do I go for the random chest in an effort to get armor? Explosive enemies and energy rings is going to be hilarious. Let's do it. Why not? This is definitely a map where I'm going to want to try to hug this outside edge as much as possible. Notice how anytime I touch the ground... Oh, hold on. Oh, I got it. Oh, I thought that was a chaotic grub. That's much better. Notice how whenever I touch the ground while I'm in the water, I'm immediately jumping and doing a little bit of a bon bunny hop movement. This is how I'm maintaining my momentum so I can keep moving away from everything. I definitely don't want to be anywhere close to an explosive enemy that blows up to an energy ring. A pro tip is that Ice Blast doesn't necessarily work in the water, um, but I do have a lot of grenade miles, so still pretty good damage. Uh, shoot, yeah, I'm gonna keep going the damage combo. And yeah, definitely take a poison shot. Let's see if I can get a stamina. Where this 
block the crab real quick. Hug this outside edge. Oh, there's a speedy crab on me. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Let's throw it out of ice blast. A lot of enemies coming out. Some of them are slipping by. Oh, poison crab. Against poison crabs, you're just going to want to try to move uh, horizontally as much as possible. These are kind of the uh, the opposite of the, the pro tips that I gave earlier, where you would want to like reverse your movements to confuse its tracking. Uh, poison crabs are really good at tracking, and if you reverse, you'll, um, you'll probably get hit by something when you reverse. So I recommend just trying to move uh, left and right and outpace their, their tracking. No. No. I'm going to be getting rid of most things. My damage feels really good. I kind of just... There's stamina. Hell yeah. As well as going into a shop so I can equalize still. Another equalizer, that's great. Critical arrow. Yeah, I'll take a big heart, so I have plenty of money to work with. Grab another armor, grab another equalizer, grab another juice. Uh, another gemstone. I think, do I take the power armor? Yeah, it's equalize. Oh uh, no, I fucked up, actually. Hmm. Let's see if I can get something to sell here. Wow, okay. Not my lucky day. Uh... Do I need to sell for the, the power armor? I think I can do it by getting rid of the bigger boom and the barrel explosion, which I don't necessarily need. But the power armor is another really big burst of, of uh, damage. Alright, let's give this a leech a try. I think I do plenty of damage. Can I actually get this heart too? No. Not even close. Uh, gold totem? No thanks. I guess I saw a fire crab. Yep. And a poison crab. Alright, this might be a little tricky. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try to prioritize this barrel skull so I don't have to deal with that. On this map, I can deal with the poison grub pretty well. Um, its its energy rings are probably the biggest threat, and I can uh, I can sort of uh, stay over them by staying on these higher slopes while I kill the other stuff. Thankfully, everything's dying pretty easily. I'll give this a good freeze, and that should be it for this poison grub. Yep. And I got a double vision proc. Uh, supercharge sounds great. So does a crimson haze, to be honest. So does a bubble blast. This all sounds great. I think I'm gonna go the supercharged. Um, can I equalize? No. Maybe I just keep going the double vision. Or I get rid of aerial shot. Or I get rid of arc shot. I guess with scatter shot, it actually works out pretty well. And the targeting shot, so maybe that's not the play. Maybe I just go unequalized for an island. And I think I will uh, keep pumping this glitch shot. <laughs> this gold art is probably just best value, even though I want the armor instead. Yeah. Ooh, I see a glass totem. I'm gonna stop hitting, or stop shooting. If I can get this. Ooh. And whoop, got it. Not too bad. I actually do plenty of damage, even though I'm not equalized. I think the next thing I could be looking for is uh, nice, a sharp shot. Uh, is an all you can eat. Yeah, I'll take another thorn explosion. Hey, and I got a random chest. Uh, I'm going to take the efficiency here. That's sort of what I was just talking about, right? All you can eat. Um. I think I'm going to go money. I don't think I need armor or health anymore. I wouldn't mind getting some money, though. I'm feeling a little low on the money. Let's see the glass totem. Got to wait for things to come at me on that middle platform before I start moving forward. You can even cut across a little bit if you're quick enough. Try to handle these ants, since they're really the only threat. Everything else is not going to catch up to me. Pretty good. 
I don't really care much for value customer, truthfully. There's a bundle and a crystal dividends. Hmm, do I take the crystal dividends to really jumpstart my econ? Uh, shoot. Probably. It's just so good right now. Well, I'm not equalized still, so it's not too bad if I take this right now. I think I'm going to go for the damage chest and try to fish for uh, an Aura shot. But unlike last time when I did this island, I should be uh, doing enough damage that I can just hang out on this side and things won't try to sneak behind me. Except for this healthy slug, apparently. Let's see if I'm about to eat my words. This is a really nice safe spot to be and enemies have to come through this door. At the start of the island though, if you hang out right here, you'll definitely get enemies that come out on the side. That's the main thing you need to be careful of. Uh, did not get the R shot that I was looking for, but I'll take another damage shot or damage combo. I don't really want to press my luck with one hit energy rings. I'll just go for the random. Uh, I'm gonna try to snipe these ice skulls, and apparently an ice crab that just jumped on me at the last second. So I value stamina so much because it really uh, enables my play style of corralling things and then keeping away from them while I deal with more priority targets, as well as my play style of stalling in the air and trying to uh, another equalizer, yeah, trying to trip out the. Um, the tracking of enemies. I think I'll go for a speed chest here. Maybe if I'm lucky I can get another juice or supercharged. Yeah. Ooh, I see an enraged grub. Nice. I find enrage grubs pretty problematic. Oh a shield might as well too. Uh enrage grubs are a lot like um poison crabs where uh, you probably pick a direction and then just continue moving in that direction. If you go left, just keep moving left. If you go right, keep moving right. Um, if you try to reverse your direction at any point, you're probably going to eat a couple bullets. Got a random driller proc. <laughs> uh, that's, that's good. Uh, these aren't ideal. I could go for the aerial shot and just keep pumping that damage. It's really not that much damage. I kind of want another stamina. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. And I don't really care about a greed chest right now. I'm going to go for a random chest. A greed chest could be great, um, but I don't necessarily need anything right now. And I don't... I would rather have a guarantee that I pick something than a chance that I just don't grab anything. Crab sneak behind me. Now that I have two staminas, uh, should be able to play keep away very easily. I think I saw an ice pumpkin. I'm probably going to want to single that out. I'm really far away from it, so I'm pretty safe from its AoE, but ice pumpkins I, I tend to prioritize. They, they can be pretty dangerous if left alone. There's a lot of enemies on this map. On this one, I really just try to hug this outer ring. Oh, let's get that guy real quick. Uh, and I move backwards like this while checking behind me for things like that skull just now. I'm moving way too fast for anything to catch up to me, so I can I can clear out what I want. I'll get that ice pumpkin eventually. If anything, the ice crabs are probably the more threatening thing right now because they do still have the the opportunity to uh, jump at me. Ooh, that was an interesting effect. Uh, I'd be down for a bubble blast. Let's see if I can snag a, uh, a grenade mod. I guess I'm, I'm, I haven't been equalized even for this one. I'll take fire for sure. I think fire is great on burst pistol. And I think poison vial is even better. That's a lot of money though. I'm probably not going to be able to uh, unlock a lot of these slots going forward. So I'm probably going to want to aim towards um, uh, upgrading as much as possible, which makes me lean towards the critical chest here to keep my sharpshooter and critical arrow and stuff going. Yeah, let's do that. 
There's a very similar structure to the previous map, uh, where I just tend to hug this outside edge and try to crowd things to the best of my ability and stay away from them. I know where the majority of the enemies are because I have them corralled here. I just have to look to my left every so often to make sure nothing is sneaking up on me. That guy. And that guy. Enemies will stop spawning at a certain point, so realistically, I could just keep moving backwards and not really shoot anything. Uh, and just wait for enemies to stop appearing in front of me. Since there's no more enemies in front of me, I now know that everything that's on the map is right here, right in front of me. Probably, anyway. I'm still going to be doing some checks uh, every so often to make sure nothing's sneaking up on me. But uh, I feel pretty comfortable that I can probably just uh, shoot forward from here. Red treasure proc. Oh, eh, I can't afford the slot. Sorry, but we're going in the trash. Normally, I probably would take that. Um, I think I want to keep my critical arrows going. I think they're really good, and I want money. I just want more and more money. Things are going to start getting more and more expensive, especially with the lock slots, so I, I just really want to keep my econ going. Worst case scenario, I pick up like a money as power for a little bit of extra damage. I have the majority of the enemies uh, corralled in that corner over there, so I'm going to try to cut through. There's a lot of enemies on this side of the map still. But I managed to sneak out because of my stamina. I really like to leverage this little rock over here to, to give me some vertical, vertical to work with. Whoa, that was a little dicey. Throw down a nice blast there to freeze. Something spawned with a shield. I think it's that limpet, which is kind of annoying. Whoa, okay. Poison battle while I'm at it. Okay, I think I've dealt with the majority of the threats. I don't know where that limpet went. Oh, I guess it died somehow. Huh. Uh. No bundle, which is a bummer since I'm going into a, an island right, or a shop right now, but I'll take the I'll take the crystal dividends. I'm sure I can make something work. I wouldn't mind capping out my armor just for power armor, and I definitely wouldn't mind a targeting shot or a critical arrow. I'm totally good on max health. I don't need fortitude. Um, this giant drill is a little too expensive for my taste. I really want to maybe sneak it. Oh, a dagger arc. And another stamina. I think I'm gonna try to get the stagger arc um, to help out with my AOE a little bit. I think I might actually drop the fire shot, even though I was just talking about how much I like it on burst pistol. I like dagger arc more on any weapon. That's an expensive reroll. Uh, I should still be able to afford something. Hopefully, I can get some armor, no dice. But I want to try to swing this reinforced. Get rid of the FMJ, maybe. I do enough damage that I don't necessarily need um, to do more damage to armored enemies, but I do want Reinforced. I think Reinforced is great, just to give me a little bit of a, a contingency plan if I lose my armor. I'm out of, uh, I'm out of balance on my Equalizer. Uh, I think I'm just going to drop the, uh, the Bubble Blast. Giant Drill seems like it's better. Get things shooting this way, and then try to go for the launch, launch pad. Three lightning crabs, that's kind of annoying. Just make sure to choose one, don't try to spread your damage, that's like one of the bigger things I could say as a pro tip, is uh, make sure you're focusing one target. Notice how I moved in and out there, rather than trying to go strictly left and right, and I managed to avoid shots because of it. No problem. Uh, these are bad. I'm just gonna go Thorn Shot, I guess. And there's my blue armor that I needed. Now I'm maxed out. I shouldn't need any more survivability for the rest of the run. Uh, unless I get hit by something, obviously. But I think at this point I do too much damage. I don't think I'm ever gonna get hit again. 
he says moments before getting hit by an injury ring, I guess. There's this last enemy. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. One more? Uh, alright, I don't even know what's behind me. <laughs> Uppercut. From here, I'm, I'm definitely going to be focusing a lot on... Oh, the power armor is actually pretty nice. A lot on upgrading items. Rather than trying to get new ones. My build is... It feels pretty complete. Uh, I just need to start really scaling now. Especially with the equalizers. Any chance that I can get an equalizer, uh, I'm going to take it. Which primarily comes from damage chest. I messed up that launch jump. That's too bad. Come on. Alright. There's another equalizer. And I think I'll... Mm, oh, this is... Yeah, I'll go for the double damage. Energy rings and shrapnel. If I get the hallway here, this is going to be weird. Oh, good. I got something even easier. I'm going to stay in one spot, I'm going to stall in one spot, especially with my Staminas that I have. I can hang out here for a very long time. Once it seems like I'm starting to move towards the ground, I start moving to the launch pad, and then repeat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Touch the ground first. Try popping some of these rocks. There's still something below me. I'm still left alive. Oh, nothing. And another thing. Oh, it's kind of stuck. Nice. And the triple chest. Uh, these all suck. I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of them. There we go. Thanks, video game. I'll take the damage combo here. And I'll take the equalizer here. And I'll go for an elite. Because I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm very hard to catch, especially on this map. Notice how even while I'm like slowing down, I'm still trying to uh, do that bunny hop to maintain momentum. Scatter shot, an upgrade chest. Like I said, I don't really care that much about getting new perks. I just want to upgrade my current ones and keep my damage bumped up. I'm going to hang out in this corner until I have a good idea of how many enemies are on the map. And if there's anything more threatening than just these crabs like that. And that's when I leave with my stamina. Start gaining the distance. Oh, get stuck on a rock too and almost die. I think I got both of them. Nope, there's one more. Sniper crab is another one that's really nice to move in and out on. Um, they have really good tracking. Uh, but their sh their shots have a really big arc to them, so it's very easy for you to go underneath. A fortitude, cool. And a split shot. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep the damage pumping. Again, I'm just gonna hang out in this one spot, wait for enemies to come to me. Anything that comes to me is probably gonna die. I'm just using this time to stall until I can get them corralled, or identify even uh, pressing threats like using raid traps. On this map, I tend to, to juggle between um, these two areas. If things get really dicey, what you can do, especially with the extra stamina, is corral things here, and then try your best to get to this side. And as things come this way, they'll be in a line for you to shoot, and then you just kind of repeat the process and jump over them and get back to this side. Again, it's a lot easier to use when you have um, uh, double stamina, which is really why I value stamina so much, it's just so that I can do that, that sort of movement. Saw things getting by me. I think this is where I'm going to try to do that. Oh, oh home and grub. Got a lot of threats on the map. I saw that there was a fire crab too, but I'm going to try to get this home and grub to make this space a little bit safer. Nice. Now that everything's back over here, I'm just going to return to the start and force them to come down this hallway again. It can be pretty dicey trying to jump through like that. Um, again, that's that's really where the, the stamina comes in clutch. Ooh. 
This is definitely where I want the burst pistol to be too, in terms of attack speed. When you start hearing the the sound like this, where it almost sounds like it's one shot, that's when burst pistol really shines. If you ever get into like an emergency situation in this map, um, I have been able to escape from this corner by going to like right there. It's it's tricky. It's, there's a there's a way to get up there. I usually do it by accident. It's probably something like um, going for this ledge right here, and then using that to jump across right here, and then you can do your best to to make it up here. Ooh, I did it. That probably takes too long, but if you feel particularly dicey about it, uh, I guess it's an option. Get that damage rolling. I'll wait for everything to come to me. Get that block of crap because those would be annoying. Once everything is kind of stacked up over there, I move on to the next quadrant of the map. Do it again. Uh, try to get these laser crabs real quick. Give myself some breathing room. So I can assess the. Uh, I think I just shot a barrel. That's unfortunate. Try to do that, I guess. Whoa. Pull up those limpets real quick. Random shot's kind of tempting, but I don't think I, actually I probably should have just unlocked it. Hey, glass totem and our grenade. Pickle power armor. Oh, we got an extra chest. For this one, uh, I usually start right here and then go right here, and you just have to kind of curve around right there. You can jump through this rock, and then you're here. Uh, sharp shot, nice. Final island, I'm just gonna pump all my money into whatever I see that has a uh, up, up arrow on it. Uh, except for this collector. Yeah, i grab that real quick. I kinda wanna equalize, so I'm gonna get this, this critical blast too. The black hole is really tempting, but I don't need it right now. And an X shot, just for good measure. Uh, that'd be kinda funny actually. Yeah, why not? I'll take another stamina too. Just for the kicks. All those suck. Should be good here. For this map, when I'm against the bosses, I leverage the cover a lot. You can just wait for them to do a shot and then jump across to the other pillar. That's it. Uh, I was doing plenty of damage on this one. I got a ton of equalizers, which really helped out with the build. 10 equalizer. Definitely would recommend trying to get equalizers as early as possible so that the game continues to try feeding you more equalizers. Uh, 1,000 damage just for having even numbers is pretty, pretty nutso. Uh, hope this was helpful. Um, totally, I had a pretty fortunate run of the equalizers, but you know, like I was just saying, I kind of played into that. Um, the game does tend to give you items that you already have, so just try to ensure that you. Uh, grab really valuable items and avoid picking up items uh, that aren't as valuable that uh, you keep getting pickups for. Like that recoil shot early on, um, I dropped that immediately just so I didn't keep getting recoil shots and I could get uh, other items in those slots. Uh, hope this helpful. Um, feel free to comment with any feedback or questions. Uh, if you want to talk shit on me, that's fine too. Totally okay with it. And uh, keep in mind to uh, please respect and enjoy the crab.